Hey everybody, Evan with the Craniac here. Say, so, today I was gonna give you a quick tour of the theater room, show you kind of stuff that I already had done since the beginning and some newer stuff I added since the COVID, because I was off work for about two and a half months, so here and there I'd be working on things. But I'll go ahead and walk you through. So we have this bar. <laughs> So I open up the screens, and you'll see once we get on the other side here. Ride my bike, can watch some videos, got my little setup. So this is just extra seating. I have a bunch of stools. And then to get in, I have my little bar here. So let's go ahead and see what's playing. Blackout screens. This is the theater room. Head and do a walk around quick and then I'll shut off the light and show you what that's all about. This is a piece of artwork that I made that also works for audio acoustics. They'll, there's some room behind it and the different board sizes are supposed to change up the acoustics. This, I wish I could get more light in here, is a funny little fake door that my father-in-law put in. Made it look like an outhouse. Everybody sure gets a kick out of that. And you got a little paddle for a door stopper. So it's kind of a cool touch. Um, I have a 5-1 surround sound center speaker. I have bass stoppers that I made. I made a video about those. This is all split. This is all the reclaimed wood on my bifold doors. So those open up, just storage. You guys can see what I've been up to in here too. I have my mattress pads for my camper for next year. Um, just got done ripping apart my old computer. Got computer parts, old PlayStation 3, VCR, old computers. Kind of an overall storage room, throw pillows, blankets, screens, light up marquee. Go ahead and shut that. And you'll see acoustic sound panels. Those are homemade. I made those. And I certainly notice a difference. I've put them up. I've played movies with and without them. And they definitely sound a lot better with them up. This is my media bookshelf also different depths different heights it's also for acoustics that's why i stack books and games in them audio is supposed to hit those and disperse it throughout the room and i again i think it makes a really good difference i'm going to be adding more of those headphone holder remote control holder made that made the headphones holders too that was pretty easy this is all my Santa's case hold all my electronics. I can lock it up. Switch PS3, PS4, sorry, held out of there for now. But that's that subwoofer where all my speakers come in because it's all in wall. So you notice there's no line running to anything in wall. HDMI power I ran up there. And then these are blackout shades as well in front of more blackout shades for the window so there is no light that gets in here during the day it's nighttime now but guarantee you when the sun is out and those are all shut and that shut there's no light getting in here now we go ahead and shut off the light i also made the stadium seating here for the couches so the couches are tiered so you can sit in the front there you go bigger angle they can really get a feel for the room so i made that stadium seating let's go ahead and shut this off there we go jeff goldblum and this is with the lamp on still and the lighting from my case in my head. Let's 
Let's go ahead and shut this stuff off. And the lights are on behind me in the room. There is no light coming through. It's pitch black in here. This is how I like to unwind at the end of the day. Sit down here, play some games, watch some movies. Took a little while. If you need any ideas, things you can do for your room, again, comment, like, subscribe. I like to talk to people about this stuff. Nothing else. I hope that kind of gives you some ideas, things you can do with your space. This is a small bedroom I converted into a theater room. I cut the half wall. I put the bar in there, um, the bar top. So, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Hope you guys like it. If you like to 